Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of... No, this is for uh, mid-July, uh, 2024. Happy birthday, Leo, if you happen to be born in July. But um, you have this web of creation card that says, be aware of what you're weaving in your life and create better experiences. You have this entanglement card that says, if you realize that you are in an entanglement, it may be time to take a break. So if you're in an entanglement, time time to leave is what I'm kind of getting there uh, with that energy. But let before I open my, my mouth, which I, I've already done, but we're going to take a look here. You have the Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Five of Wands here. It's like uh, some sort of conflict or you're um, conflicted on doing something. This is why right here, Leo, because you have this imagination card. So I feel like um, this is kind of like saying, don't let your imagination run wild at this time. I think you need to like get the facts of, and I know I know that I'm speaking very generally here, but I literally feel this is like in all areas of your life, you need to, um, you know, really kind of pay attention to the facts of a situation, whatever, you know, whatever the situation is, it could be good, it could be bad for some of you. And uh, I just feel like this is saying, you know, get those, get those good details of whatever it is that you're dealing with. Uh, I feel like the Knight of Wands is talking about kind of a new journey um, that you're on. You know, the Knight of Wands is kind of like the adventure in the tarot. He goes on adventures and he does new stuff. <laughs> and so you're on a new adventure. Uh, we also have the sun, which is great, but we have the world. Uh, the world comes up like crazy in readings nowadays, and I really do believe that we have kind of entered a new world. And um, so this new world that we're in, the, the rules are different in this new world, Leo. And we just have to kind of, um, you know, look and see um, how we can be more spontaneous. I'll, let, let's say that, you know, the Knight of Wands, He's very spontaneous. He doesn't need things to work a certain way. He just allow he allows things to work how they're gonna work. And if changes come up, he kind of goes with the flow a little bit more than the other knights. He kind of says, you know, if he's trying to accomplish something and something doesn't work, he builds something, right? So he is the true builder in the tarot. And I feel like embracing like a more spontaneous go with the flow energy and being careful with your imagination, uh, not that you shouldn't be using your imagination, because I also believe that we are in a very dreamy time. Um, but, you know, don't just assume things based off of your, your imagination, right? Like have the dream, but then start putting it into practice. Take your dream and start taking the steps to find out if it's actually going to work or not. And that's kind of what I feel is going on here. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands, and you also have the Five of Wands here as well. And you also start with that Entanglement card. So I do feel like something could be burdening you at this time. Uh, personally, I kind of look at the Ten of Wands as a good card because, you know, he's carrying those Ten of Wands. He has a lot to do, but he is about to reach his home in the background of the card. So he is about to, um, you know, have a harvest. And I feel that for a lot of you that you are about to have a harvest, but, you know, I feel like there's been a lot of work that you've been doing. I also feel that you could be experiencing uh, certain conflicts in your life. This could be like literal conflicts with people, but I also feel this could be inner conflict as well. You know, it's kind of like it, there's a Tasmanian devil here on this card. This is the Ark Animal Tarot, by the way. And, you know, the Tasmanian devil could be saying that there's kind of like an emotional an emotional shit storm, to, to use a uh, uh, an actual word, right? It's an emotional, uh, a more a scientific term is emotional shit storm is going on inside of you right now. And that's kind of the feeling I get from this five of wands. Um, the interesting thing is, is that we go to the king of cups and the king of cups is very much in control of his emotions he he doesn't he's normally sitting in the middle of the choppy waters and but he is perfectly fine you know the whole point of the king of cups is emotional control and so i feel for a lot of you that um either you are going through something um you know that is kind of like emotional or something that is a little bit of a tornado in your life. And I feel like it's probably to teach you to control your emotions. I also feel like this could be a good thing as well. Um, you know, take it how it resonates. For some of you, I feel this could be a challenge that you're experiencing. For others, I feel it could be more excitement. And again, I, I just think it's going to be different for all of you. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have the Ace of Swords, which is a victory, um, you know, which is a big success. Both cards of fortitude, by the way. You know, the Knight of Wands represents kind of like fortitude. He has the fortitude, the strength to go on the journey. Uh, the Ace of Swords is a card of fortitude and strength. And so I feel for a lot of you, you are um, becoming stronger. Uh, this could also represent the truth as well. 
I believe we're in a time of truth. I've been saying this for years, for like last two years, and a ton of truths have been coming out, if you haven't noticed, uh, you know, with all these like celebrities getting arrested for certain things that I cannot mention on YouTube because YouTube is run by, uh, run by three-year-olds. There's another truth for you, by the way, is that YouTube is run by children. So there you go. But what I would say here is that, you know, there could be a lot of personal truths coming out in your life. And, you know, again, these personal truths are just going to lead to a victory. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're not going to be uncomfortable, by the way. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you are realizing that you are the center of the universe <laughs> in some way. I probably shouldn't say that to a Leo, but uh, what I would say here is that the Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence and, uh, you know, focusing on being independent. It's a card of gratitude and luxuries, you know, kind of creating a dream life as well. It's a card of having the nicer things. But I feel like you're um, more, it's, it's, it's almost like saying to me that you are more taking responsibility for your life in a good way. And I feel like this could be leading to more abundant success, you know, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, you have, with the Five of Wands, you have the Tower. Yes, I, we already talked about it. Emotional sh shitstorm. Really, that's something that has happened to you probably at the beginning of this month. Um, we have like a, the, the astrology to me is very weird at this time. I said to someone else, I can't remember who, but I said to another sign that, you know, the, the energy reminds me of like a spiritual divorce, you know, and not like a divorce with a person necessarily, although it could be, you know, it, but it could also just be um, that you're separating away from things that no longer serve you, uh, that you were once spiritually connected with, uh, or that once resonated with you. And that's what I mean by spiritual divorce. It, it, again, it doesn't even have to be with a person. It could be with a person, a place, or a thing. And, you know, again, I feel like you're just kind of going through it. I would look at this as a good lesson, though. Um, you know, the can of cups would really say that you have learned a lot from this situation or whatever happened. And, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with learning a lesson, right? <laughs> so I think this is a good thing. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you at this time, you have this imagination card. It says creative inner child inspiration. You end with the sun, which is very similar. I think that you need to embrace your inner child. The sun normally has that wall uh, behind the baby that's on the horse. And, and it kind of represents the wall that we all put up against our inner child. So you have to let your inner child out with the sun or you have to be more playful, but it's coming up in the good stuff. So I feel like it will be good. Uh, you have this uh, cheetah, it says speediness, shrewdness, and lo loquacious. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get that out, but uh, Leo, I was born with a fat tongue. So like certain words I cannot say. But what I would say here is that, you know, I feel like something is coming in very quickly for you. I, like I also said, I would be a little bit careful of your, um, I would be a little bit careful of your imagination. Like, I don't feel like this is good or bad. I feel just saying, don't let your imagination run wild. Like, don't start imagining a worst case scenario and then start catastrophizing something and then make something worse, right? I feel it's kind of saying, keep your imagination in check. But also, if you have positive imaginations, you start imagining something that you want to create, I would take the steps to make it happen quickly uh, with this cheetah card as well. Uh, mostly because... Your first card here is a freaking sloth, right? The slowest animal in existence. It says quiet reflection, uh, waiting till the right time. So I feel for a lot of you that the Four of Swords is saying that you've been in this period of healing. I feel like you've been healing for a long time here, Leo. And now it's time. I actually feel now it's time to take action with the with this Four of Swords. I feel it's kind of saying like, okay, you know, now it's time to get up, you know, get up off the ground and start taking action, start making moves in the right direction. Uh, I also think it's interesting, the sloth is, you know, hanging upside down. So it kind of reminds me of the hangman. So you've already made the sacrifices is what this is saying to me. And now you've gained enlightenment. You have the sun, which is your card, the best card in the tarot for you. And it's the best card in the tarot. And But I feel like you need to start making moves uh, towards your happiness. And that's exactly what I would do here. Uh, the King of Cups also says it is time for you to start making moves towards your happiness. So I feel for a lot of you that the King of Cups is talking about emotional control and controlling your emotions in certain situations. I kind of feel the whole entire reading a little bit is saying, like, don't just don't let your emotions get the best of you, positive and negative, right? We can go both directions. We can be too positive. We can be too negative. We, you know, all that other good stuff. So I feel this is saying, you know, be a little bit more uh, centered. You know, he is normally sitting in the middle of choppy waters, but he is perfectly fine. He's not worried about like what's going on around him. And he is controlling his emotions. And that's exactly what I would do here with that energy. Uh, you have the magician. I feel like you've attracted something in your life here with the magician. That looked like it was spelt weird, which is weird. But okay, whatever. Um, you know, I feel like you are 
you know, you you have attracted a change in your life because, well, actually, I really wanted to go here. I'm a little bit of a mess today, if you can't tell, but we go up to the world, to the sun, and I feel that for a lot of you, you are tr you are stepping into this new world, and the rules have changed. I get something about rules with this imagination card. It's like, you know, if, if you think in your life that things have to follow a certain set of rules, I would, um, you know, get away from that, <laughs> is what I would say. The rules are out the window, right? That doesn't mean I'm not encouraging you to go break the law or something like that. But what I'm saying is, like, if you're thinking about starting a business and you're like, oh, it has to go by, you know, X, Y, Z, I feel like this is saying, like, no, it's going to be like E, D, P, Q, R, F. You know, it's going to be like all over the place. And that's because we're just in a more spontaneous time. And so I feel like this is saying, like, get comfortable just exploring. Get comfortable with the Knight of Wands energy, the spontaneous, you know, the spontaneous flow. Uh, with the Four of Swords, you have the Magician. I feel like you have attracted something that you are like waiting for, but it's like right in front of you. I've already, I've already said this to you. I know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said this to you like last week that you, like you have attracted something that you wanted. It's like right here and like all you have to do is grab it. So uh, I have no clue what that means, Leo, but I would go for it, whatever it is. Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Devil. Uh, the devil could represent toxic energy. Again, some of you could have de been dealing with a person who's like the devil, or you could be dealing with a toxic person at this time. I feel like the king of cups is saying, control your emotions with this person and you will be fine. Uh, so I don't really feel like there's anything to worry about. Uh, with the magician, you have the king of swords. King of swords is law and order. So if you have been dealing with a toxic situation, a toxic person, I feel that there's nothing for you to do. I feel that the King of Swords is basically saying that you are actually, um, you know, that there will be law and order in the situation, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, next, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this Bat card and the Spider card. The Bat, <coughs> excuse me, is about the nighttime and, you know, kind of listening uh, to the energy that you're receiving, you know, that bats use echolocation. And so I feel like you are sending vibrations out to the universe and the universe is responding. You know, even spiders, they respond to the vibration of the bug that they catch. So I feel that it's time for you to really tap in, especially with that can of cups, you know, can of cups, very spiritual, very tapped in type of energy. And, you know, when you think about it, vibrations, you know, vibrations are very, very subtle. You know, there's, there, there's something that doesn't really, um, you know, doesn't really, we don't really know all the time, like what's happening, right? Like the day before the whole Trump thing happened, I, I like I felt so weird the day before. I even mentioned it in my video the day before that I did it, that I was like, I had this like super weird feeling and I wasn't sure, you know, what was going on. So it's like vibrations are sometimes subtle. It's like we can just feel weird. We don't know why we're feeling weird, but it's like maybe if I slowed down on that day and I really tapped in, I would have gotten some answers. And I feel like that's what this is saying is it's like saying, that you have to slow down in those moments where you you get a feeling about something and you really have to listen. The spider is also about setting up a process and I think that process is definitely a key word over the next like 20 years, Pluto and Aquarius. I think having a process for the way that you do things will make your life a lot easier. So, you know, if you have a business or a career, you know, developing a process could be a good idea. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the World, and the Justice card. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is kind of a card of material success on the horizon. I feel that a lot of your fears right now uh, could be surrounding work. Like you've done a lot of work, and this could be on yourself. It could be literally in work or in business. It could be on anything. And I would, I, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like the Eight of Pentacles is a very good card, but I just, I feel this energy of the fear of loss when things are actually better than you than you think. So I would let go of that fear of loss and, you know, I would just keep doing the work that you're doing. I feel like you've done a lot more work than you realize as well. And, you know, I think you need to look up, you know, especially with that sloth that's hanging out there. I think you need to look at the work that you've done and really put things into perspective because, again, that might change your mindset about what you are, you know, where things are going. Uh, you have this world card, so the world can represent completion or uh, stepping into a new world. You know, we go from the fool to the world in the major arcana, and then we just start all over again at, at the world, or sorry, at the fool. And so I feel that you are ending cycles. I feel like we have entered into a new world. And again, don't be afraid to change the rules. Don't be afraid to be spontaneous or to allow things to happen in a different way. 
Uh, next, you have the Justice card. So again, like I said, everything about this reading screams justice. We have the Justice card. We have the King of Swords, Law and Order. We have the Ace of Swords, which is also Law and Order, or Balance, or Justice coming in for you. We have the ju uh, Judgment card here as well, which the Judgment card can also represent a judgment. <laughs> so again, whatever, like whatever you're worrying about here, I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles is about building wealth. Every single one of these readings that I've been doing for the middle of July has been about building wealth. So again, I feel a lot of you could be focused on you know building stability or wealth or you know more abundance. Uh, with the world card, you have the two of cups. Yeah, a little bit of love here. If you want love, not really love reading. This, I, I would say that the, you know, this part of the year or whatever, like these next two weeks, didn't really have a ton of love energy. That does not mean that you can't have love if you want it. Um, you know, so again, you know, feel free to get out there and talk to people and, you know, put yourself, get off the couch, right? Get out in public, go out so that people can actually see your face with their eye holes. And, you know, then you can um, actually meet a person. Believe it or not, Leo, I know this is going to sound strange, but, you know, a person has to see you before they can actually fall in love with you. So, you know, I, I, fe I feel that with the Two of Cups that you have to get out into the world. The Two of Cups is also you in your higher self. And I think that's what's more important here is that you have to uh, listen and tap into your higher self. Uh, the Two of Cups is like communicating with your higher self. And there is definitely something here about those subtle vibrations and like really tapping in. So I think meditation, um, listening to your dreams, your daydreams, all that would be really good. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Three of Cups. Uh, Three of Cups is a celebration. And again, if anything weird has happened with a person like in love or business or otherwise, I really do feel that people are going to kind of like see the truth. You know, the Three of Cups is your community. And so you could be finding a lot of support um, in your community, especially if someone has created a storm in your life. You know, it looks to me like people are going to come to your defense or protect you. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you can't make this up. This card says this and that are true. I feel like what definitely true. Whatever you believe to be the truth is the truth. Uh, you have this pig spirit says use your mind wisely. So again, I feel that a lot of you are kind of like picturing, um, you know, it, it's the, the imagination thing, right? It's almost like you, you see the good, you see the bad. And it's like, whatever you believe is true about the situation is true. <laughs> so choose to believe the good stuff and not the bad stuff, right? And I feel like you need to move more towards the sun. Uh, you show up here as the sun, which which puts you in a position of power and strength and allows you to get what you want. I feel like there's a lot of good luck and just like a lot of good things coming in for you, uh, even if you think the negative, right? So I feel that you need to start focusing on the positive. Uh, you have the judgment card. The judgment card is asking you to leave behind the old world. You know, on the judgment card, normally the people are in their coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin uh, represents their new life. And so the judgment card really says you have to get out of the coffin and step into the new world, and that's what will lead to the most success. So that's what I would do here uh, with the judgment card. Uh, you have the walrus, this uh, eight of cups. It says abandonment, escapism, and tr uh, truth seeing. You know, the eight of cups to me is about walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, but like I said, spiritual divorce, you know, I, and it, obviously it's a good thing because it's showing up in the good stuff. So whatever you're like separating away from is probably really going to lead to, you know, benefits, good things in your life. Uh, with the sun, you have the temperance card. Uh, temperance is turning one thing into another. We have like a uh, hundred cards here that all basically say the same thing. You have the opportunity to turn your imagination into reality. and So I wouldn't even say, say a good thing into a bad thing or a bad thing into a good thing. I would say that really this is saying imagination, what you are dreaming of, and bringing that into reality. Uh, with the judgment card, you have the four of pentacles. I thought I had this twice. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> that was probably really loud. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is a card of stability, growth, abundance, especially in the good stuff. I feel like you're creating more financial stability. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a card of going on the adventure. You always get the Five of Wands with me, Leo. I always say that, that this is Indiana Jones in your reading. You have to go on some sort of crazy adventure to get what you want. And I've been telling you this for years. So, you know, if there's some sort of adventure, you know, something new that you want to do in your life or if you want to, uh, you know, kind of like transform the thing that you're, whatever you're working on, I would do it. Uh, you have this Lion card says time to act. I mean, Leo, you, it's time for you to be a Leo, time for you to act on your, act on your urges, right? You have this Caterpillar card says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Yes, definitely a positive change, changes coming in for you. 
You have this carrot, it says opportunity or windfall. Uh, there could be a big windfall uh, coming in for you, especially with that four of pentacles at the end. I feel like this is more, um, the windfall will happen when you um, develop something to the next stage. So if you have a business or career and you're thinking about taking it to the next level, yes, definitely do it. Uh, you have this sunrise card. There you go. Uh, this says new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Yes, definitely good things coming in for you. I feel like whatever has happened to you with that Tasmanian devil in your life, it's like meant to take you to the next level. Uh, you have this older woman, it says dealings with relationships with an older woman. You have this owl, it says good advice from a wise person. So there could be a person who is an older person. They don't have to be, you know, it could be just a, a wise person in your life. And I feel like this person could really be guiding you or it could be leading you in the right direction. So definitely listen to those messages. But uh, this looks really good here, Leo. I like it. Definitely positive changes. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.